Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh there you go. Oh, shit. You want to get the net? Get him in? Score. Got him. Dinner already in the boat. Look at all those teeth. Just That's crushers. Very nice. special in the boat. Good job. I know he's a keeper, but let's get a quick measurement on him. Probably about 15. How big are you? Okay, 18. That's nice, because my minimum is like 15. Good job. They're not worth cleaning if they're any. Yeah, that's a nice piece of meat. Smaller right than. Oh my god, he swam into the rock. Keep it. Nice one. Yeah, I'm gonna go measure him. Make sure he's big enough for us to keep. Second sandwich. All right, what's going on YouTube? Erica Lynn here, welcome back to another video. Garrett and I are out fishing today. We got some bait and we are hitting some public numbers out here of St. Pete, Florida. And Garrett's already got a couple of fish in the boat, so that's awesome. We're going home with dinner. Um, but you guys get to come with us on today's fishing adventures as we catch pretty much a little bit of everything. So can't wait to bring you guys with us. So right now we are on Egmont Key Reef out here of the Skyway. See, like well, that's that just easy. all bridge pilings they drop. Number seven, they're all numbered. There's like 12 of them. You guys can probably see the Skyway in the background there. You got a whole bunch of bait right on the top of the structure. About 10 feet higher than the rest of the little ledge. Looks like a good spot. Uh, there's a bait net up front if you want to grab it. Might as well get that landing net out too because we're going to catch a big one. All right, game on. I like to tail hook them and send them down. It's pretty shallow for these weights, so we may have to switch to smaller weights, but we'll see what the current's doing. I think these weights are going to be too big. Too big? Yeah, these fish are picky. Oh, 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 oh. Tap, tap. They're too picky. Tap, tap. First fish. <laughs> oh shit, that's good grouper bait. Throw him in the live well. Yeah. A little squirrel fish. Yeah. I think that's what that's called. Yeah, bottom looks great right now. That's what Ricky was saying. Like, it's so shallow here. Yeah. If they feel that weight bouncing around, uh -huh. he's convinced they don't want to eat. Whoa. Oh, it's a fish. <laughs> I forgot he was in there. Oh. Got him? Nice All and easy right. once you get him moving yeah, though. Yeah. And he still swallowed my hook. Damn, really? Better uh, fight, sheephead. Another one. Oh, oh, oh. spot tail. Fucking a what? One of them stupid pinfish things. That's a pinfish? Yeah, it's, like it's a... huge. I keep getting its half as soon as it drops down. Mm -hmm. There you go. That one. Definitely not a big sheephead though, it's light. Super. Got a couple of these now. Even a little bigger? Yeah, it's a little bigger than the last one. I'm rocking on both sides of this now. Oh. I'm not fighting super hard. Uh, oh, sheephead. Good job. I gotta get back on the board. I'm not even on the board. Uh, another another puffer. puffer. I'm the fucking puffer man out here. <laughs> Gotta deflate first. Got yep, nice oh, sheephead. Real sheep nice sheephead. Sheep Pull him up. Oh, hang on, he ain't done. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I got yeah. one. <laughs> I'm on the board. live release action. We got three sheep heads so far. A bunch of mangroves, right? Little yep. mangroves. Garrett caught a puffer fish. Let's see what else we can get. <laughs> and it's only like 9 a.m. Oh damn, with that set up? Mm -hmm. Nice. But that was also the first drop down. And yeah. this is a new spot. They're not on to us yet. I know. That's <laughs> what it is. Because I'm not even getting tapped now. <laughs> They saw 
Oh, oh. wait. Is that a fish? Yeah. Dang. Holy crap. I thought, I thought I had bottom. Out. I did have bottom for a minute. I had to have. Oh my god. It's That's huge nice sheep head. <clears throat> Good job. <laughs> Another one. Another one. Is that number four? Well, we got our offshore sheep dialed in. And sheep head is great eating. If you guys didn't see the one last video I did of the catch and cook um, with the sheep head, you guys should go check it out. I'll include that link at the end. Another nice one. Teeth. Going home. <laughs> He's a little more fired up than the other boys. You just put him head down. <laughs> Easy, bro. Splash zone. The world's know, biggest a... grunt. Damn. Jesus Christ. Grunt. Look at the size of that thing. What's that? I'm just hold on to the new and grab him. <laughs> Thank you. Grunt. That Jesus. might be the biggest grunt I've ever seen. Big old grunt. Look at those cool blue lines on his face. New species. 15 and a half. 15 and a half. That's a big grunt. He's got like a cool mouth like a hogfish. I like he does have some teeth in there, but. To catch. So we're letting yeah. him go. Yeah. There we go. Something small. Hey, better than nothing. A... Oh, a little lane. Really? There you go. Good job. Thanks. New species. Be a keeper. Who wanted it? What are you? Yeah, there's no size on those, I don't think. Or it's super small, like eight to ten inches. Yeah. Oh my god. Bottom? No, he just snagged me up. Rocked you up? Rocked me up already. Let him sit for a minute. There we go. Jesus. <laughs> I stole your side. That side is hot. It is hot. Fight a little more. Oh, we got a little baby. Just to compare how much bigger Garrett's was. Yeah. Three, two. Shut up. <laughs> One. Smoking them. It's the side of the boat. I guess so. He got a. Damn it. Being good if all we wanted was grunts. No, got my shrimp back. They're letting me catch up, that's why. <laughs> Erica deserves a couple of fish. Smoked me at the last spot. Oh, 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 just eat it, just eat it. Oh, 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 there we go. What do you know? <laughs> if we're looking for grunts, we're in the money. That's a better fish. Yeah, oh, no, he's still there. And it is a... It's not another grunt, is it? Oh, what shit. Heck is that? Keep that. That's bait. Yeah. Bird called? Bait. Yeah, that's kingfish bait in a couple weeks for sure. <laughs> On fire. On fire. Heavy no. It is. It's another another one. one? Yeah. That's crazy. Do you want me to keep him or no, let I'll just throw that one back. Yeah. We're still on about 30 feet. I still see some structure on both sides. Good. Yeah, it looks good. Caught. Holy shit. Look at the size of that thing. I don't even know what, I don't that even is. know what this is. If you touch it, it looks like it stings. Yeah. 
That's crazy. What the heck? This is big. It's bigger than my shrimp bait. I don't even know what that is. If you guys know what that is, yeah, drop, some, drop a comment below. Is it? It's a weird yeah, looking no thing. I don't even really want to touch them, to be honest. Damn. Here we thought the birds were eating bait eating that was bait, alive. And, and there's eating dead fish. Crabs, dead crabs. Oh no. Another dead turtle. That sucks. Damn, that dude. sucks. He ain't even been dead that long. There are more underneath him, two, three. Oh, there's some fish underneath him. He just died, too. Cool fish to see. Yeah. Going back. It's saying that the red tide's back and killing everything. It's only March. Isn't what I expected to see. Alright, um, All right, moving spots. The three mile reef north. So we just traveled a couple miles offshore from the Egmont Key Reef that we were just at, and we are now at Three Mile Reef. So drop down, see what we're doing. North side, just off Anna Maria. Yeah, just off Anna Maria. So if you guys want to check it out, that's where we are. <laughs> We're in about 32 feet here. Water's still 72. Oh shit. Are you blind? Yeah. What is it? I don't know. It's decent. Flounder! Nuh uh. Shut up, a keeper flounder. 15. Nice, it's pretty cool. Oh. I'm pretty sure it's a oh. <laughs> Hey, I got one. There you go, come on. Do something good, be red. It's, it's not fighting very hard. What Porky. Oh, no, another spot. What is this called? Uh, it's called a spot. A spot? It's like a spot-tailed pinfish or something. Yeah, like pinfish. That. Yeah, it looks more like a pinfish to me. Uh, offshore pinfish. I don't know what you call these. I can only imagine that there's like grouper and like there's bigger stuff down there. Yeah. Oh. 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 What? That was weird. Probably a grouper. Probably broke you. No? No, I still feel my weight. I just can't see you missed the hook. It's so little. Robbed? Yeah. You want to go? Yeah. Although I'd say three mile reef north was a great spot for a flounder. Yeah, so we gotta we keep. We broke off on two nice Yeah, fish. we did. All right, four sheath head and a flounder in the cooler, ready to go home for dinner. <laughs> All right, guys, and we're back. I just came home to a huge box at the door from Roswell, and the boat that you just saw me fishing on, uh, my 22, is me getting a brand new audio system. Um, what you guys didn't hear is. It only had one speaker working and it was time for an upgrade. So we're switching to something way more premium, way more upgraded. So let's check out what we got. Oh my gosh, so windy, it's all gonna blow away. And we are very excited to elevate your experience on the water. Welcome to the family. Thank you guys. I got a couple hats, some pretty awesome Roswell shirts. That's sick, we got some koozies in here with couple bottle openers with their logo very awesome and also this really cool tumbler that was in there too all right grand finale so we have our r1 speakers we're switching out the six and a half with the ones that are in the boat and i also had um, a couple upgrades planned that we're gonna go ahead and put two extra speakers in that are eight inch these do actually change color and aside from the crystal clear sound you'll get from these guys what also separates them from others are their waterproof connections to all of their electronics um, really makes stuff last longer especially out on the salt water so can't wait to get the sound system up and running again with some of the best in the business last but not least we got the 650 amp and the head unit here again big thank you Roswell for hooking this up so quick they got this package out so fast for me so I'm excited to get this all hooked up and like I said I'll keep you guys posted but in the meantime I got some fish to clean so let's go ahead and get this cleared off and get started we're gonna be doing the flounder first it's been a minute since I've cleaned a flounder and not too bad I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that on the back side getting up over that rib cage and working my way down 
So I actually grew up fishing for fluke and flounder up in the Long Island Sound coast. Um, so way up north. And my papa used to have us out on the boat like when I was real, real little. So this fish is bringing back some memories. Pop up would be proud. Flounder is done. I'm gonna go ahead and toss this in the lake and get started on all the sheephead. All right, so I got my sheephead fillets and my flounder fillets ready to go for dinner. I gotta head out for a volleyball game, so unfortunately I won't be able to do a catch and cook for you, but Garrett's gonna cook these up. Planning to do a lemon butter in the oven, a little creation that's gonna be delicious with these. If you do like the video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>